I met the maker. Rolling up all this paper, told my mind I'll see you later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow German shield holders, my name is Nathan, and today's video is going to be on when should you fill. So already, I know what you guys are saying. There's no way that this is the real Nathan. The, the real Nathan only plays Roadhog and DPS heroes. He would never fill. He would never switch off DPS. Well, that is not true. Because like I've said in my previous videos, you have to work with your team and you have to switch in order to climb up this competitive ladder. And the end of the story is, if you want to climb up, you have to fill. So when do you fill? Let's go over some of the obvious examples here. So let's say you have a teammate who only plays healers. They don't even really play that much Ana. They play a lot more Mercy, Lucio, maybe Zen sometimes. It's like one of those players. The support that kind of stays away from Ana, but generally plays the rest and sometimes Symmetra. And then suddenly they get stuck playing DPS? I mean, this happens, guys. Why, why are they having to fill a DPS hero? Clearly, in their past, they're not playing heroes that require a ton of mechanical aim. And then we're gonna stick them on someone like McCree or Soldier? Like that that's not that hurts your own team. And I mean, I'm not just talking about making supports play DPS heroes, but what about the Winston Diva Zarya players, you know, what about the the tank mains and then you're making them play the DPS? Like there are so many situations where people are being forced into the wrong role. And isn't and it isn't just filling DPS because usually DPS are the first two things that are picked. So these situations can be very delicate and we start to talk about hurting a team and what would be better for a team. Like if we put you on Reinhardt, yeah, we have a Reinhardt, but if we had you on Roadhog, you're an insane Roadhog, which is better for the team, you being insane on, on Roadhog or the fact that you're a Reinhardt. And here's the answer, guys. Usually it's them being on the Roadhog that's better for the team. It's not usually the best play to just put him on Reinhardt, make him play Reinhardt, and th that's the deal right there. No, that that's usually worse for the team. Let the insane hog play his insane hog. And then you're going to tell him, well, Nathan, you should fill for the team, and you should always fill. Yes, because that my simple answer was not just drop the Reinhardt. No, someone else play the Reinhardt. Having one healer is not as big of a deal as you guys think. If you're with a team that just absolutely won't switch, won't communicate, and you're one of the healers, and if your team is playing your soldier hog, I mean, it's not a big deal if you're a healer and switch Ryan. A lot of your team can heal themselves, and then your healer can help top off the last few, and you're going to be okay. <clears throat> Let the insane players that have one main, let them play their main and you yourself fill. Because I hate seeing when people start asking everyone else to switch, but I'm sitting here like, dude, why don't you switch? Like, I'm already in a specific role that we need. Like, you, don't you hate hearing someone complain about no one switching, but they themselves won't switch? Yeah, it, that that's so stupid. And that's why I never make people switch, because I just freaking switch myself. I mean, I'll talk to the team, I'll ask them, I'll say... Hey guys, can what, do one of you guys play this hero? If someone is going to switch, it, it's cool. The conversation ends there and then we're all happy. But if no one switches and everyone's stubborn, I myself will switch. And that's what you see in this game. That's why in this gameplay, and, and don't worry, I still uploaded it. Nathan doesn't just upload these insane games where he does very well and he records 20 matches and only puts the best one up. No, I'm really not a great Reinhardt. I wouldn't say I was hurting the team. But you're going to see me miss some of my charges because I'm not used to the sensitivity and how fast he turns. and It's stuff you get used to when you play a hero more. I don't have a ton of time on Ryan, but I still filled as him. A lot of my teammates were stubborn this game, and I couldn't get any of them to switch. And most of my mains were already taken, so there wasn't any other heroes where I could play and just quote-unquote carry at this rank. Oh, this is the Nathan account, and it's decayed pretty far down into Diamond. So if I played one of the DPS heroes, I feel like I would be able to do a hard carry. But instead, I didn't mind filling as Reinhardt, because uh, they were all asking for one. They were all like, guys, we need a Reinhardt. I didn't want to tilt anyone. I went ahead and just played Reinhardt myself. Unless you have an insane carry on some heroes, go ahead and just fill. And in my case, in this video, no one was willing to switch. Like, we're talking, everyone was pretty set into their heroes. So that's why I couldn't play any of my DPS heroes or Roadhog. They were all picked. And then when we went on the offense here, I told them, hey, guys, I'm okay with playing Reinhardt again. Because everyone seemed to do well. So, you know, and that's, that's what's got to happen. 
This is going to bring me into the next part. So let's say you start on defense, which is what happened, exactly what's happening in this video, and it can be vice versa. If you start on defense and you fill as a hero, and you guys do fantastic, you do well like we did. We held them very early on on Watchpoint Gibraltar, which I hate this map, but we held them very early on and everybody was okay with it. So now that we swap over to offense, what's the game plan? Do I go ahead and try to lock in Soldier real fast, or Farah, or Hog, or McCree, or it's starting to be Tracer now? No, never do that. There is no reason to, because that's going to tilt the player that was playing Soldier before, and we had a McCree, I believe, and a Hog. Just go ahead and play the character you played before. Just because you filled one round does not excuse you to go ahead and just jump back onto your main real fast and try to beat the other person to it on the other round. Like, no, I'm going to play Ryan again. I talked with my team. I told them, hey, guys, I can play Ryan again if you want. Because I, I was fine if someone else wanted to take him because I'd rather be on one of my mains. But no, I worked with my team and I was on Reinhardt again. So that's why you'll see in this gameplay, yet again, on offense, I am Ryan. Because everything is going well. There is no need for me to swap off my fill roll. And that's what people need to learn, because you see some people really want to play Genji, but someone else played Genji, so then they had to fill, but then we swapped to offense, and then the other person locked Genji really fast. The, the guy that wasn't on Genji before, that wanted to play him, is now on Genji, tilting the other teammate, and then now we might lose from here. Like, don't ever do that. First off, that's kind of like a, a young a young kid thing to do. I feel like that's rather immature. I, I mean, if you really just don't care in your game, I guess that's why you're doing it. But if you really want to win, that th get that out of here. Move it along. That's pretty immature. So that's why I didn't hesitate to at all to play Reinhardt again. There is no stress here. It's an easy win. Yeah, spoiler alert, we do win the game. This match could have been an easy loss if I was playing as someone that was just going to tilt because they didn't get any of their mains and they are going to play Reinhardt and then they were just going to be a charge heart and just charge across the map and just not care. No, I stayed cool, I tried my best on a hero I don't have a lot of time on, and we won the game no problem. And that's important to keep in mind. If you're playing your absolute best and you're really focused on one of these heroes, and I, okay, a little, not as much on like the hard mechanical aim characters like McCree and a little bit of Soldier or the snipers, whatever. If you're playing a hero, that's a lot of game sense. Like we're talking the 70% game sense and then 30% mechanical. If you put your mind to it, you can win these games no problem. And I think a good example of this is Zarya as one of the heroes. Zarya is a great example of a game sense hero who doesn't need insane mechanical aim. So if you're a hit scan player going on to someone like Zarya, because I, I still believe Zarya is the best example. If you know her abilities and you put your mind to it and you're paying attention when to bubble your teammates that got hooked, bubble your teammates in bad situations, when to bubble yourself and not waste your abilities and cooldowns, you can do well. You can thrive with your team, work out the ultimates. Filling these roles, you can still do well. It's a little bit harder when you're putting these people on McCree, Soldier, Hanzo, Widow, where you need the mechanical aim. Like, you absolutely need it or you're not doing anything for your team. A little bit harder with the hit scans and snipers, but that's besides the point, because that's, that's a lot more, that's rare. But if you put your mind to it, and you have zero hours on these heroes except in quick play, you can still do this at a high level. I mean, yeah, the gameplay is from the Decayed Nathan account, but I, I still do this at 36, 3700 all the time, and we win our games, no problem. If you really focus, you can play these heroes that you never play. So, that's what I kind of wanted to bring to you guys, and... Again, no script for this video. This is me just going off to the mic, and I'm, I'm like, my eyes are closed. I'm just thinking in my head about all these different situations in my matches, and then I'm just like vocalizing it all. So there's, there's no structure to this. And we passed 19,000 subscribers. <laughs> I, I can't believe this. Like, almost 20,000. I, I'm gonna go in shock the second we hit that number. I could have never dreamed of a number so big. Whew. Yeah, yeah, there's really not much else I can say. Just so, so honored and so thankful for the support from everyone. I mean, you guys are the best. I'm going to leave. I'm going to end the video with that. And again, just thank you, everybody. And I hope this video was able to help you. And remember, when you play your games, stay positive. And I'm never going to stop saying that on this channel. So I hope you guys all have a, have a great rest of the day. And take care, guys. See ya. Same game.